Cable, it's been uh, four memorable trips up to this point, and we've obviously pursued planes game, we've pursued um, planes game in the mountains, we've had some unbelievable adventures, some planned, some not planned. Mm -hmm. But this year, right here, we on to Cape Buffalo, it's been something that you and I have spoken about probably from trip one since yeah. we enjoyed that experience with Glenn all those years ago. And uh, it's your turn. It's been it's been a journey getting here. You've, you've stepped it up. I said to you in the beginning, you know, you we start on the planes game, we work our way through those experiences and yeah, we have it. Finally, the time's come, it's your turn. And we off to Cape Buffalo this week, Cable. Yeah. Um, what we are gonna do this week and, and what I wanna, I wanna share with you and something unique how we pursue Cape Buffalo down here in the East Cape. We don't have the soft sand. As you can see, where we're sitting right here, it's very rocky. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the valleys behind us, the brush, it's it's very similar to Cape Bushbuck or Kudu hunting. Our buffalo like these forests. They stay deep down in these forests all, you know, uh, through the, the midday heat, but early mornings like this right here, um, they come up onto these slopes and all along the edges, they come up onto these little plateaus and this nice green grass after the summer rains, they come in. You feed on that mm -hmm. and then as the day heats up they then back down into the valleys and and, and kind of bed up during the, the midday heat which naturally the forest is nice and cool so our, our strategy this week very different to what you might experience up north and places like that we will be seeing where we can pick up a buffalo track but the majority of our strategy will be to do with glassing yeah. we'll spend hours on the glass and once we do find a dugger boy or a group of bulls or a herd we like um We'll then make a plan and try and pursue them. Um, my my goal is to shoot a nice gnarly old bull, hunt it the real way, the hard way, and um, leave the herds alone. I don't want to um, get into the herds right now. There's a lot of calves. The summer has been good. We've had a lot of good calving. Um, but that experience of, of hunting Cape Buffalo in this scenario, sitting up high, glassing hard, getting in on them, and hopefully find ourselves a good bull. Yeah. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. Yeah. I'm certainly excited about it. Fantastic. So as long as they eat it on your cable, it means the buffalo will like it. Very simple in feeding habits. I've been working these banks since early this morning and I had one of my trackers sit up scouting for us, looking into some, some valleys and areas where we've been seeing the buffalo. Um, as the weeks led up to the safari, one of my guys spotted a nice group of buffalo across the way from us, disappearing over the edge. And we've come up on this side, looking that way to see if we can maybe spot them. If we can't spot them now, we'll head in for lunch. And then when I know the, like the midday period when they're gonna go and bed down, we'll go and hit those tracks and we'll walk in on those tracks to see if we can track them down. But for the time being, we haven't spotted them yet. We've seen a lot of other game, a lot of kudu around, a lot of eland, lots of warthogs up. We haven't seen our buffalo yet. We'll keep looking, otherwise we'll get on the track. your first buffalo bust out. <laughs> it won't be your last. And when you hunt Cape Buffalo, you have a lot of those from time to time. So in that scenario, I mean, the, the, like we're showing you, uh, Ken myself was saying they're milling, they're milling. And um, precisely what they were doing. Well, it sounded like they were 30 yards away. When they, well, they were very close when they bust. It's just pretty amazing that the wind, when we left the top, the wind was kind of pulling up towards us over here. We were lucky the wind was then drawing across us a little bit. And uh, we were able to actually um, getting right close to them, which yeah. when they turned, I thought we were just done with the wind. We actually got much closer than what I thought we would. But yeah, good to be on the tracks, good to get the adrenaline going. Yeah. yeah. But we'll head back to the truck. I don't see anything worth pursuing there. So we'll keep looking. Perfect. That was fun. A lot of activity here, okay? 
right guys where they've actually rolled and this is early in the morning i would say early this morning and what they do this is where that name the dugger boys comes from they actually come and roll in the muddy and that covers them so dicks and things like that come off but also the bugs and stuff that bug them during the course of the day just eliminates that factor for them but yeah this is a good sign yeah, I mean, it's a heavy bull, obviously it's muddy, but when you see a nice track like that, that's what you want. I mean, yeah, he sunk away under his weight. We come out this afternoon and we've spotted a lone buffalo bull across the valley from us. And we think he's a good one, but he's holding up in some thick stuff. But we've got a group of eland bulls we need to contend with. So we're going to try and beat these eland and try and get around the wind from them and hopefully leave them behind. If we don't, I think they're gonna pull up into the wind towards this buffalo. But Cable and I are gonna give it our best go and see where it takes us. Hopefully we can get onto this pool. guys man sometimes you win them sometimes you lose them but ah uh, i mean we were uh, we just if he wasn't laying right there uh, we'd have a go eh? Close. 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 but it was fun getting in seeing the eland then hoping they don't bust us and finally getting onto him and locating him and then uh, i think he sensed us i mean the wind's still pretty good but you don't know you know some eland or something might have just pushed him out here It's a dominant sign. <laughs> Going on his own. As the bull doesn't know, we're probably a kilometre out. We're going to make our way down this draw here, use the cover. And we don't have a closer look. It's way too far to really say. He's a dugger boy. He's on his own, so that's a good sign. But truth be told, until we're there, we won't know what he is. But we'll just make our way down this very far. Hopefully, we don't bump out any kuru or pushback. And hopefully, no baboons, because they'll give us up. <laughs> but let's give it a go. Asking him from what he saw earlier. 
was up and we had to like wreck it. Just trying to make sure it's hard all the way. It looks hard from the back, but you never judge from the back. I love when I'm getting from the front property now. This Hit him again, just shoot him, free aim. In here he goes, come, come, move. Safety on, move. In here he stands. Where, where? Yeah, pass pretty big. Take him. Good shot. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad you were here to be part of that. I think he's pretty much done. Just touch his eye, they make sure that you feel better. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> that is a buffalo, eh? Yeah. Congratulations, eh? Oh, thank you. Isn't that just magnificent? What a beast. What an animal. How old do you think this guy is? You, okay, well, I would say this bull, if I look at his bosses and these white banks here on his eyes, I would say he's for sure in the 11, 12 year old oh. class, you know. Um, some regions where it's a lot more lush, these buffalo can live a uh, few years longer, but in these conditions that it's quite hardy, summers are dry, um, you'll find that they probably won't live to that age. Cable, okay, well, what an exciting morning, partner. Yeah. Um, Spotted this bull from a pie with a bit of help from our buddies and uh, made an unbelievably fun stalk on him. Mm. We were lucky. We didn't bust Four, out. 1,400 yards. Dude. Yeah, but That's we were awesome. lucky. We didn't bust out a lot of game along the way, which really helped us. And then when we got in on him, we couldn't find him. Only yeah. to realize he's gone and bedded down. And luckily, we, we spotted a horn and we actually spotted some of the tick birds. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's what gave him away. So glad, glad we got on him. And then from there, it's like buffalo hunting goes, my man. Yeah. I've read so much about it. You read the, the classics from Rubark and man, Capstick. And here we are having this experience ourselves, something that I've wanted to do for so long, hunting the Black Death in Africa with good friends, uh, someone who I trust. And you know, when they say that's an old mature Daga boy, yeah. that's the one we want to go after. And uh, that's what we did here today. Couldn't be happier, Carl. Such well, an experience. It's an addictive experience. Yeah. And I know it won't be our last partner. Beautiful bull. Absolutely. Man. Yeah, so we are here at the Carlisle Bridge Farm School which is supported by the John X Safari Foundation. And this is why it's so important. Sustainable use hunting not only, of course, benefits the wildlife, but when the local community sees value in what we do, they support it as well. And here we are at an elementary school, giving them some protein, which they'll use for their uh, school lunches. And, you know, that's just, I think the most rewarding part about the whole experience, to be honest. Um, so. Happy to be here and looking forward to uh, getting to know these kids here. Okay. His name is Cable Smith. Hi. And Cable has hunted a buffalo. And um, he's brought you some nyama today. To come and drop off for your school lunches today. Okay. So once Cable's given you the, the nyama, he's asked for one thing. He wants to have a soccer game with you guys on our new field. Get down to soccer. Okay. So Cable, I'm going to have you and Ken give them some meat and then the guys will be in. I can't believe it. 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 I can't